The MailChimp API key, or the Application Programmable Interface, say that five times fast, that key, that particular code, is unique, and it helps MailChimp connect with other integrations and applications. Basically, it is a security handshake without a password that allows MailChimp to connect with other applications. The API key is located under your account profile. To get your account profile, go down to the bottom right, where it has your name for your account. Click on that, then click on Profile. Under Profile, click on Extras, and then click on API Keys. Now you can learn more about the API for MailChimp right here. You can also, if you're, if you're interested in developing an app, you can click more about that here, or Developer Tools. But we're interested in this section here, the API Key. So located in your API keys area, we have a couple of API keys that I've connected to different WordPress plugins. So to create a key, you click on create a key, the page will refresh, you get a little message here at the top that says your API key is ready to use. And you notice here that this is the one that I've created. Also know that it doesn't have a label set. So to set a label or to change a label that of an API key you've already created, just highlight over that label, click it, and then change out the label name and we'll call it test. A couple of safety tips on API keys. One, if someone gets a hold of your API key, they have full access to your MailChimp account. So make sure you keep them secure. Two, don't reuse the same API key for every application integration that you use. Create separate API keys for each separate integration and application that you need to connect. In the event that there is a compromise of this API key, I can immediately turn it off like that. It'll be disabled. And then I can create a new API key on the fly. Just name it test2 for this demo. Copy that API key and paste it in the application. So immediately you can change it out in the event there is a compromise. So those are the two things that you immediately need to be aware of. There are more tips on keeping your API key secure here. You can feel free to click on those and read them and take action. In some cases, you may be asked to provide an audience ID or an audience list ID. To find that, you go over to your audience dashboard and then on the far right hand side, you click on the manage audience dropdown and then click on settings, then click on audience name and defaults, and here's where you find your audience ID. So now you know a little bit more about API keys, how to use them, where are they located, a couple of safety features to be aware of, and also where to find your audience list ID. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.